Hello everyone. Uh, in this uh, video, we shall cover some of the definitions pertaining to toxicology and also how the toxicity can be classified. Okay, so what are the different aspects by which the toxicity can be classified? Now coming uh, to first of all, what toxicology is? Okay, so toxicology it is a science which deals with the study of the toxicities or the adverse effects uh, the chemical or any physical agent which may produce on some living organisms under some specific condition of exposure so this is the definition of toxicology so basically here we are studying the toxic effects or the unwanted effects or the adverse effects which is a particular substance may produce on the living organisms okay now here uh, not only uh, what effects are produced but we need to uh, make certain attempts to identify what are the different hazards uh, which are associated with a particular substance okay and we should be able to determine them quantitatively okay as to how the exposure uh, has taken place or can take place or what are the different risks or what are the different hazards or what are the types of effects which can be produced by that particular substance okay so thus uh, this toxicology it is a science that experimentally investigates the occurrence the nature the incidence the mechanism and the risk factors for the adverse effects of these toxic substance okay so uh, we will further see what uh, kind of substances can act as the toxic substance okay so before going to that let us see what do you mean by toxicity okay toxicity means any toxic or adverse effect that a particular chemical or physical agent may produce within a living organism so all those unwanted effects which may be produced which may be harmful to that particular uh, individual or that particular organism so such type of effects are known as toxic effects or the toxicity then uh, toxicant is the next concept so toxicant it is any substance that can cause a harmful or the adverse effect when it comes in contact with a living organism at sufficiently high concentration okay so toxicant is that actual substance which is producing the toxicity in the living organism provided the particular living organisms is exposed to that particular toxicant at sufficiently high concentration so usually any substance which is exposed in you know uh, smaller amounts may not produce toxicity okay so it, the amount also matters so at sufficiently high concentrations when that substance comes in contact with that particular living organism such kind of substance which induces those adverse effects or harmful effects is known as a toxicant then the next definition is of hazard okay now hazard means the qualitative nature of that adverse or undesirable effect that is a type of adverse effect which can be resulting from the exposure to a particular toxicant or physical agent say for example asphyxiation this is a hazard which may be caused due to acute exposures to the carbon monoxide okay so hazard which may be caused due to exposure to this carbon monoxide sufficiently large amounts is asphyxiation okay so qualitative nature what kind of effects may be produced so that is uh, known as a hazard okay then next is the risk now risk is the measure or the probability that a particular uh, uh, exposure situation or the dose of that particular toxicant will produce a toxic effect okay so what is the chance of producing the toxic effect in a particular individual when a particular measurable amount or uh, that particular toxicant is exposed for a particular time okay so that is the risk okay so what are the chances with that the toxic effects will be produced now next part is the classification of toxicity now before going into the actual classification of the toxicity there are different bases upon which the toxicity which can be produced by a particular toxicant or a particular substance can be 
classified so before going into that let us see how the exposure can take place and what are the different kinds of toxic effects the basic kinds of toxic effects which may take place okay supposing if the person or or the particular organism is exposed to a toxic substance or a toxicant basically the type of toxicity which is produced that will be dependent upon the root of exposure okay exactly how the exposure is taking place now supposing if skin or the mucosae the mucous membrane of the body are getting exposed basically it may result into local toxicity okay that is the toxicity will be restricted mostly to that particular area where that toxicant is exposed to that particular part say supposing if something spills on your skin so that particular area some chemical if it comes in contact it may irritate it may burn or uh, uh, or any kind of rashes may appear so that is known as a lo local toxicity that is it is restricted to that particular area okay now supposing furthermore the toxic substance if it gets absorbed into your systemic circulation okay so what will happen the toxicant will reach the uh, cells or the tissues or the organs right so this may result into systemic toxicity okay so depending upon the exposure the toxicity may be a local one or it may be a systemic one okay now let us come to the actual classification of the toxicity now toxicities can be classified based on various aspects like the first one is classification based on the exposure time and location okay as to for how long the exposure has taken place and what is the location next type of classification is based on the time of development and duration okay that is the toxicity okay uh, when it is exactly uh, developed for how long it is lasting so that is the basis of classification for the second time then the third type of classification is based on the exposure okay how you get that particular exposure of that particular toxic substance okay whether it is from air or whether it is from soil okay or uh, from the occupation and so on then the next type of classification is based on the uses okay as to you are using certain substances those substances may also result into toxicity right for example the drugs which you are consuming may be to treat some condition so those may also have some toxic effects right if you consume them in large quantities they will also produce some certain toxic effects there are certain chemicals which you are handling there are certain solvents which are being used in various preparations there are certain chemicals used in the cosmetics okay certain metals so all of these which are used in day to day life they may also result in toxicity so classification is also based upon the uses of a particular substance okay so the same substance which you are using in your day to day life that may also result in toxicity so these are the various bases how the toxicity can be classified now coming to the individual ones in detail so the first classification is based on the exposure time and the location okay so this table describes the exposure time and the location okay as to the first type is the acute okay acute meaning something which is short lasting okay so here the exposure time is short okay a very short uh, span of time so it may result uh, different types of toxicity okay now based upon the location where exactly the exposure has taken place supposing if the local exposure has taken place okay like in in the restricted area of the body so uh, effects like skin corrosion may be produced or lung injury may be produced so substances here some examples are also given of the substances which may cause the respective toxicity like say methylamine or hydrogen chloride may cause these uh, effects then if the acute exposure uh, you know it has result into systemic toxicity okay, it may be acute that is very short lasting exposure but the substance is entered into your systemic circulation so it may result in certain systemic effect like kidney injury or hemolysis drugs like phenacetin or arsen may also cause these and uh, another type of effect is based on the mixed exposure say local as well as systemic 
so here effects like lung injury and uh, methemoglobinemia may be produced due to oxides of nitrogen the next uh, class of um, uh, this toxicity is short term okay so here acute meaning is very short la uh, short lasting uh, toxicity but here the uh, exposure time is little bit longer but still it is short short term exposure of that particular uh, toxicant so this may result into toxic effects uh, locally like skin sensitization example is ethylene diamine then next type of classification is based on exposure time that is repeated meaning here as the name implies that is repeated exposure to that particular toxicant so here again based on the location it may be local toxicity systemic or the mixed toxicity so under local uh, effects like lung sensitization or nasal septum ulceration may be pro produced by these chemicals or systemic such as neurotoxicity or liver uh, injury may be produced by this acrylamide or arsenic and mixed type of effects like respiratory irritation and neuro behavioral changes by pyridine may be produced then next class is the chronic okay depending upon the chronic so here the uh, particular organism is exposed to that particular toxicant for a chronic period of time okay that is it it is continuously being exposed to that particular toxicant for a prolonged period of time again here depending upon the location it may be local systemic or mixed type of toxicity may be produced say for example in case of local bronchitis may be produced by sulfur dioxide laryngeal carcinoma may be produced by nitrogen mustard uh, under systemic uh, uh, toxicity after chronic exposure this includes leukemia by benzene or angiosarcoma by vinyl chloride and mixed toxicity includes emphysema and kidney injury due to cadmium and uh, pneumonitis and neurotoxicity due to manganese so this is the classification based on time of exposure and the location of the toxicity which is taking place that can be sub classified the next type of classification is based on the time of development and duration okay that is after how long the toxicity is getting developed okay and for what uh, time it is lasting like say for example once the person is exposed to that toxicants immediately it may not start producing the effects right it may take some time for it to show the effects okay or there may be a particular time for which those effects may be shown okay so based on these the time of development and the duration again it can be classified the toxicity can be classified okay so first one under this is persistent meaning here something which is lasting for quite a long time okay so here effects such as testicular injury or uh, scarring of the skin or eyes or pleural uh, mesolithoma uh, okay so substances examples are also given over here corrosives asbestos and all okay then next type is the transient meaning something which is not permanent okay it it is you can say that it is uh, getting developed over a small period of time okay and it is a short lasting it's not permanent okay so here effects such as narcosis may be produced by the organic solvents or sensory irritations by acetaldehyde next type of classification uh, class is cumulative here as the name implies your substance is getting accumulated in the body and the accumulation of that particular substance in the body or in certain area is actually responsible for <clears throat> production of these effects like squamous metaplasia by formaldehyde or liver fibrosis by ethanol then the next subclass is the latent okay something which is present but it is not you know um, getting developed or it is not being shown out okay like exposure is there toxicity is there but uh, you know it it may not be uh, showing in terms of certain symptoms or something like that okay so latent which may you know developed even in the 
later periods of time so it is existing but you will not come to know that such kind of toxicity is existing okay so examples includes or the effects includes pulmonary edema due to phosgene peripheral uh, neuropathy due to anticholinesterase or organophosphates uh, as, as an example of this or pulmonary fibrosis due to paraquat okay so these are the examples of classification based on the development the time of development and duration then the third type of classification is based on the exposure how the exposure has taken place okay from where that toxicant has entered what are the different sources so depending upon that again the toxicity can be classified the toxicity which may arise from the toxicants in the food or the toxicants from the air or water or soil or even the uh, toxicants which are derived from the domestic uh, procedures which are uh, being done from day to day life or occupational settings say wherever you are working in that settings maybe some chemicals are used maybe some smoke is coming out or some vapors are coming out which may be harmful which may enter your body and may result into toxicity so based on the exposure from where you are getting exposed to that particular toxicant again toxicity can be classified now under this again there are certain sub classifications okay so the first one as we have seen the first one can be air pollutants okay so the air borne toxicants now this is the uh, uh, compon composition of the normal dry air so this uh, this is the uh, as you all are all aware of that the air it is a mixture of several gases several components in a particular amount so now this natural air it may get polluted it may be mixed with certain uh, different types of gases or smoke or dust or particulate matter okay so gaseous pollutants so all this may get mixed with your normal air so that same air will be breathed by the organisms so this is how the person may get or that organism may get exposed to that particular toxicity okay now let us see that again air pollutants can be again sub classified to gaseous pollutants and particulate matter now gaseous pollutants coming to the first one that is gaseous pollutant so these are the substances which are gases at the normal temperature and pressure or these can be also the vapors which are evaporated from the substances which are actually liquid or solid so from this substances it may vaporize evaporate and those vapors may also get mixed into the air so that can also add to the gaseous pollutants now there are certain uh, examples which are quoted over here carbon monoxide hydrocarbons then hydrogen uh, sulfide nitrogen oxides ozone then sulfur oxide and carbon dioxide so these are some of the commonly encountered gaseous pollutants which may mix with the air and we result into the pollution and it may be exposed uh, to a particular organism now usually these gaseous uh, pollutants these are um, you know measured or or they are expressed in terms of micrograms per cubic uh, meter okay of of the gaseous pollutants as parts per million by volume that is one part per million meaning one part pollutants per million parts of the air this is how it is expressed then coming to the next type of uh, pollutant air pollutant that is the particulate pollutant so here in this particular case if fine solids or liquid droplets may be suspended in the air and they may be inhaled along with the air okay now there are several types of these particulate pollutants so the first one is the dust which is relatively larger particles which are about 100 micrometer in diameter so these are uh, certain uh, pa particles which are directly arise from certain substances which are being used like for example coal dust or ash saw dust cement dust or grain dust then second type is the fumes fumes are the suspended solids which are less than 1 micrometer in diameter these are usually uh, released from the uh, metallurgical or chemical processes like say for example zinc or lead oxides the next type is the mist mist is liquid droplets which are suspended in the air which has diameter less than 2 micrometers example is sulfuric acid mist 
नेक्स्ट इज द स्मोक सो स्मोक मीन्स स्मॉलर पार्टिकल्स विच आर रेंजिंग फ्रॉम साइज ऑफ पॉइंट जीरो फाइव टू वन माइक्रोमीटर विच आर रिजल्टिंग फ्रॉम इनकम्प्लीट कम्बर्शन ऑफ द फॉजल फ्यूल्स विच आर यूज नेक्स्ट इज एरोजोन सो दीज आर द लिक्विड और सॉलिड पार्टिकल्स विच आर यूजली लेस देन वन माइक्रोमीटर्स विच आर सस्पेंडेड इन एयर और इन एन अदर गैस विच आर यूजली यूज इन दी एरोजोन ना दीज आर सम ऑफ द सोर्सेज ऑफ एयर पोल्यूटन्स एंड certain effects which are shown by these uh, air pollutants so examples all these examples we have already quoted there are some new examples also all these we have seen earlier radon um, then asbestos allergens arsenic okay so these are the different sources from which they can be obtained and if you can see that there are lot of deleterious effects mostly you can see that there is lung cancer since you are uh, inhaling such kind of pollutants it may affect mainly the lung because that is the organ which is first and foremost getting exposed to that toxicant so lung cancer is shown by many of the air pollutants okay the next type of exposure and uh, next type of toxicity based on exposure is water and soil pollutants now there are again different uh, kinds or different ways by which this water and oil pollutants may enter into the organism now usually water and soil if it gets polluted obviously what will happen if water gets polluted we will um, consume that water right so if that water is polluted with certain harmful substance or a toxicant what will happen as we consume that water we will also start consuming that toxicant right so as we consume that toxicant our exposure will increase and as a result of that toxicity may be produced even the soil there are various substances like say for example pesticides or fertilizers which may be used so these may enter into the soil so it starts entering into our food chain say supposing if we are not exposed directly if the animals are exposed to that say for example if water is polluted if the sea is polluted if the river water is polluted so fish will be exposed to that or the aquatic uh, um, life will get polluted okay so it will get exposed and if we consume that same uh, aquatic organisms if we consume that fish what will happen the toxicant will also enter into our body so that's how human beings also will get exposed so slowly it can enter into the food chain okay plants will also start absorbing them so this is how these uh, pollutants which are mixed with water or soil it may start entering into the organisms now there are different ways by which and different types of pollutants which may enter so let us see one by one metals like lead arsenic mercury cadmium these may get mixed with water or soil okay, usually industrial pollutants are also adding a lot effluents are being drained into the seas and the rivers so that's how water also and soil also may get polluted okay next is the pesticides which are used in the farming okay certain pesticides even uh, this ddt it is banned okay so because of the uh, deleterious effects it has caused then uh, next type of pesticide is aldrin dialdrin and chlordane then uh, certain nitrates and phosphates also uh, may pollute the environment like say for example nitrates the sources of these nitrates and phosphates is the fertilizers or discharge from the sewage treatment plants okay or leached from the uh, septic systems or manure these may start entering into, into the soil and water okay so it it may act as a nutrient and certain microorganisms also may grow next is oils and petroleum so oils and petroleum the oil which is used by the motorist or spillage from the oil tankers it may spill there are several cases wherein the oil tankers have leaked and it has spilled out into the environment even uh, from the oil slicks it has leaked out and it has resulted into the pollution water and uh, soil pollution next source is the radioactive contamination like radon is the example best example over here next is volatile organic compounds like trichloroethylene toluene benzene chloroform okay then tetrachloroethylene ethyl benzene vinyl chloride xylene trichloromethane etc so such volatile organic compounds may also be released into the soil or water and then may start polluting the water and oil next is low molecular weight chlorinated hydrocarbons like chloroform 
ब्रोमोडाइक्लोरोमीथेन डाई ब्रोमोक्लोरोमीथेन ब्रोमोफॉर्म कार्बन टेट्राक्लोराइड वन टू डाईक्लोरोथेन देन पी सी बी ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड दैट इज पॉलीक्लोरिनेटेड बायफिनाइल्स फिनॉल्स साइनाइड प्लास्टिसाइजर सॉलवेंट्स विच आर यूज इन द इंडस्ट्रीज ओके सो सेवरल अदर इंडस्ट्रियल केमिकल्स विच आर यूज इन प्रोसेसिंग ओके सो दीज मे बी रिलीज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एफ्लुएंस इन टू दी वॉटर एंड दी सॉइल another uh, type or another source of exposure is from the acid which is present in the uh, rain okay or that which is drained from the mines so this may also start polluting water and soil then the third type of exposure is the occupational uh, systems that is occupational toxicants so uh, those workers which are uh, handling such kind of uh, chemicals or which may not be directly handling them but at their work place they may get exposed to such kind of uh, chemicals um, substances or volatile substances or vapors which may enter into they are mostly into the uh, the respiratory tract and it may, it may produce the problems severe problems like tumors may be precipitated okay so tumors may be produced by such agents so few examples are quoted over here asbestos this is quite dangerous causing lung or pleural or uh, peritoneal uh, tumors okay and these are the occupations the miners manufacturers or users arsenic then benzene cadmium chloroethers uh, chromium mustard gas okay nickel Uh, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons red on radium uranium uv radiation or x rays so all these uh, at at the particular uh, occupational areas the persons may get exposed to all these at, and it may result into tumors okay then next type of classification okay so so far we have seen classification based on the exposure the third one now coming to the fourth type of classification this is based on the uses okay so those substances which are being used in the day to day life okay as we are getting exposed to that excessive exposure may cause the toxicity in uh, the organisms with uh, such kind of substances which are being used say for example drug of abuse therapeutic drugs may also have toxic effect agricultural chemicals food additives metals solvents combustion products cosmetics and toxins so these are the various substances of, to which we may get exposed as we are using them and it may result into toxicity so again here metals like lead arsenic mercury chromium cadmium then agricultural chemicals that is pesticides like algicides fungicides herbicides nematocytes insecticides rodenticides then the food additives and contaminants certain food also contains certain chemicals we add for preservation the preservatives emulsifiers chelating agent then the stabilizers humectants sweeteners certain synthetic substances we are using synthetic sweeteners synthetic dyes or synthetic flavors they may uh, be also toxic if we consume in large amounts even there are certain toxins which are used like microbial toxins mycotoxins algal toxins plant toxins animal toxins so these may also be exposed to and uh, will result into toxicity then the solvents which are used in several preparations like aliphatic hydrocarbons halogenated um, aliphatic hydrocarbons aliphatic alcohols glycols or glycol ethers aromatic hydrocarbons then the therapeutic drugs may also produce toxicity only a few one or two are quoted over here cytotoxic agents and uh, corticosteroids which may cause skin or systemic toxicity also but there are several other examples of drugs which are used therapeutically for certain treatment of certain condition but they may have deleterious effects on the body next is drugs of abuse now these are actually not the drugs for therapeutic use Okay, but they have abuse liability. That is, they produce CNS effects in such a way that they will produce sense of well-being. Euphoria may be obtained from these drugs. So people may want to consume these drugs again and again. So large quantities when they are consumed, obviously it will result into deleterious effects. Examples include cocaine, heroin, then lysergic acid, diethylamide, and tetra uh, tetrahydrocannabinol. 
then next type of uh, classification is based on the combustion products okay so combustion products like smoke which is generated this could be relating to the uh, domestic right uh, in even now in certain villages wood is being used as a source of fire for cooking okay so smoke which is obtained or generated from that wood first of all the houses are not well ventilated okay the older houses so they are, there is no proper ventilation so the ladies or the small children may get exposed to that smoke or uh, the smoke which is generated from the coal burning of the coal or oil even some people consume the tobacco so the smoke which is obtained by burning this tobacco okay so that also is quite dangerous to uh, certain uh, respiratory disorders may be precipitated then certain cosmetics all also contain certain chemicals which when we ex get exposed to that it may produce certain toxicity certain uh, uh, people are also allergic to certain chemicals present in the cosmetics you may immediately develop some certain reactions also so that is al also included under toxicity so there are some few uh, examples which are quoted over here bromates ethanol sodium hydroxide then thio uh, glycolates thioglycerol which may be used in the cosmetics may also result into toxicity so these are the different uh, ways by which the toxicity can be classified so the important questions pertaining to this particular topic is these defi definitions may be asked definition of toxicity toxicants hazard risk okay all we have we, we, which we have seen so such kind of definitions may be asked or classification of toxicity may be asked so we have seen the four types of classifications okay so a note may be asked on that thank you